we're gonna perform today. Do a little snatch session, train split squats. Fun upper body gymnastics based conditioning. It's December, December 2nd. It was so cold this morning here in California, in Northern California. Everybody has their relative cold. It was like 32 on my, on the, on the outdoor thermometer. Lots of frost, I was scraping the windshield. I'll bet all you people out there don't think that Californians ever have to do that. But we did and my kids were saying, Daddy, we can't see. We can't see, why are you driving? It's not safe. I said, baby, I got a little tiny hole that I'm staring through right here. I'm good to go. <laughs> Anyhow, here we are at the gym, wrapped up this workout. It's that time of the month, year, quarter, cycle, whatever, where I start to think ahead to the next training block that are coming up, do a little testing, do a little exploring, experimentation. And uh, hey, I got a concept for y'all. If you're somebody who just wants to do everything and you're like, God, I want to do a little bit of this. I want to do a little bit of that. I want to build muscle, but I also want to get my Olympic lifts better. I want to be better at muscle ups. And there's just too much going on. There's, there's too much to do. It's confusing. It's hard because it all looks fun. It all looks rewarding. It's all like a challenge. And if you're into fitness, like why would you, ever look at something that somebody's accomplishing and be like, oh, that's so lame. I never want to do that. Like I see people doing yoga and I'm like, I want to do that good. Like see people swimming fast. I want to do that good. See people posing and bodybuilding. I'm like, I want to do that good. That's just how I feel. You might, if you find what you really like, what you really love and you stick to it and that's all you ever want to do, good for you. But if you're like most people, if you're listening to this, you're probably with me shiny object syndrome like oh that looks nice that looks nice anyhow what i find comfort in is that each day i come into the gym and with this training philosophy we touch on different stuff we're not going to be the best in the world at the crossfit games by doing functional bodybuilding we're not going to win the bodybuilding mr olympia doing functional bodybuilding but we're going to get a taste for all this different fitness we're gonna increase our body, I mean, we're gonna improve our body composition. We're gonna improve our work capacity. We're gonna have skills that challenge us and some days make us feel inadequate and other days make us feel accomplished and excited. And I think that journey of touching and tasting things here and there, leaning into this part a little bit more than that part for a couple months, then switching over here, but always staying in this like, kind of space where everything is welcome, everything is accepted and everything can coexist concurrently, you know, be ex expressed in training. That's the way to go. Anyhow, that's just my daily thoughts, how I'm feeling and I think what got expressed today. I mean, Olympic lifting built up to a heavy double for me in the snatch, which is wild because a heavy double today is nowhere near what a heavy double was years ago and when I was spending more time on the lifts, but this is where I'm at. Backed off to 80%, did a max set. If you're asking, hey, why isn't he standing up on each of those reps in the snatch? Um, yeah, it's a technique to be able to do more reps and save the low back. You know, also save the legs a little bit. Um, also because I'm using straps and I'm wanting to do doubles and on that last set I did seven. Using straps, you know, if you are, you're at the top and you're gonna go down and reset, you gotta carry the bar all the way down from the top. But if you do a snatch and before you stand all the way up, you drop the bar, it just sort of makes it easier so you don't have to catch the bar so much. Backed off to 80%, did a set of seven, then moved on to the back rack rear foot elevated split squat. Did the same kind of format, built up to a tough set of six on each leg. Backed off to 80%, did an AMRAP set. Then I went to doing some Nordics, Nordic hamstring curls, which gotta say, like 
back to my original point, you might want to like do a lot of different things and I want to chase this, I want to chase that. Like a year and a half ago, I got kind of introduced to the Nordic by Ben Patrick and I was like, oh, I really want to get good at this. But I was like, well, I'm not going to do this like three days a week and not just like solely focus on the Nordic. So I'll do it like once a week or once every other week, but I'll just stay consistent. It's going to be a part of my training ongoing. I'm like not going to miss a week of Nordics. And here I am a year and a half later, like I could do six to eight reps without assistance, plus some assistance, like back to back, back a year and a half ago, I couldn't even do one. I could barely hold myself up without crashing my face into the floor. So, you know, patience, if you're doing things concurrently is still gonna get you a long way. You can get really far. And then after Nordics, it was uh, conditioning sets, which was like legs and core, but I mixed in some gymnastics because I want to, I like working on these rings for my muscle ups um, as opposed to the rings at home. And uh, yeah, I did five muscle ups, 10 pistols, 10 toes to bar, 800 meter bike. Rest, repeat for four sets. Every set I added a set, a rep to the muscle up just because I wanted to challenge myself. So that last set I did eight muscle ups unbroken, which is the most muscle ups I've done in like a year, over a year. So again, another plug for the, for the training philosophy. Keep touching all these skills. You might not touch them every day, but periodically the system works together. You build the skill, you keep your strength up. You can keep the skill a long time. I haven't snatched 185 for a double in a long time and it was there today. So all this stuff is uh, just a reminder, just like stay patient, keep doing things that excite you, but have a plan, have a plan that pieces it all together. So that you're not just chasing the shiny objects and losing sight of the big picture. I hope you got something out of that. If you did, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what resonated with you uh, about today's session and maybe something I said. Take care.